Hello scientific people. Today we are going to study the refraction uh, experiment from the prism and we are also going to measure the angle of deviation from the prism and for this experiment you require a prism. Here we are using typically a prism whose angle of prism is 60 degree equilateral prism and <coughs> protector scale few softboard pins eraser and pencil. So let us begin with the experiment and uh, the, this experiment will be almost the same as the refraction through glass lab uh, experiment. So what do we need to do is first of all take two softboard pins and uh, fix it on the wooden pad. So this is A4 size paper on the wooden pad and uh, now I am fixing both the softboard pins over here on two edges so that my paper A4 size paper does not move. Now these softboard pins put it aside the all rest four softboard pins you would be requiring. Now what am I going to do is I am going to put this prism over here and then I am going to mark the outlines. Okay, so here we have made the outline, <coughs> pardon me. Now we are going to make an incident ray and the incident ray uh, say for example I wish to make the angle of incidence is 60 degree. I choose this point to be the point of incidence. So this part of the protector I need to put it over here angle of incidence 60 degree. So we know that the normal would be 90 degree. So this is 90 degree. So 10, 20, 30, 40, 50, 60. So the 60 degree would be over here. We are not measuring the angle from here otherwise it would be 30 degree. We are measuring the angle from 90 degree to 30 degree that is why it is 60 degree. Mark a point on 90 degree as well. Now this would be your normal and this would be the angle of incidence right okay now two pins you are supposed to fix it over here on the incident ray now put the prism back over here at its mark position. <clears throat> now you are supposed to see these two pins from this side. They will be visible to you. And now I will be seeing the pin, these two pins from this side because this is the incident ray that would be the refracted ray and the emergent ray would be somewhere over here. So I need to put, uh, I need to see the pins from here and you need to see it very carefully with one eye closed to avoid the parallax error. So let me do it and afterwards what you are going to do is when you see these two pins over here we have another two pins which we are going to put it on this side and we will make sure that these two pins are in straight line arrangement with these two pins. So. Okay, so now these two pins, when I was looking at these two pins from this side because this is the emergent ray which is coming to my eye. So I would be seeing these two pins in this, try, this line and now these two pins I have attached in such a way that all these four pins are visible in a straight line. Let us see it. So if you watch, if you, if you watch these two pins, these two green colored pins are visible over here 
right and now if you see that all four pins are appearing in a straight line you guys are lucky because you can see the spectrum band of seven colors at the back side so you can see very carefully all four pins are placed in a straight line and quite spectrum is visible on the top part you can see that there is a spectrum so dispersion is also seen over here right okay now what we are going to do is <coughs> now we are going to mark these two these two places so i'm going to remove these pins now we'll put the prism aside now no need of these pins also these two points join with the straight line over here this will be your emergent ray and from here the normal is at an angle of 90 degree so this will be the angle of emergence this is the angle of incidence <clears throat> now i'm going to join these two points and this would be my refracted ray incident ray refracted ray now you can see that it is instead of going straight it is bending towards normal due to the refraction now our main task is to find the angle of deviation we know that this angle is 60 degree right angle of prism now i'm going to extend the incident ray forward and i'm going to extend the emergent ray backwards so i get this angle that is called angle of deviation so let's measure with the help of a protractor okay how do you measure this see make sure that this point is falling over here so like this and the angle of deviation this line matching with this line and the angle of deviation is just over 40 degrees it is approximately 42 degrees so the angle of deviation for the prism is 42 degrees right and i kept the angle of incidence as 60 degree <coughs> if you just want to measure the angle of incidence i had kept it 60 degree so when i kept this angle 60 degree i got the angle of deviation is this let me measure the angle of emergence as well so angle of emergence with respect to the normal 10 degree 20 degree 30 degree 40 degree you can see that from here 90 degree this is 10 20 30 now i'm mistaken it is yeah it is the same only 40 no 35 sorry because this is uh, these are the gap of 5 so this angle is 35 degree right so this was the experiment about uh, the dispersion sorry the refraction through prism hopefully you have uh, understood this if you have any doubts you can comment in the doubt section thank you for watching the video